Okay guys, I'm in the backyard and I'm gonna spin the camera around and show you the update on, well, how the Bermuda's doing, okay? So, yeah, I'm trying to kill everything but the Bermuda in this yard and make this yard where the, where the pool is real nice and smooth. So, let's see what kind of process we got and I'll show you some of the things I've done along the way and what we come out with. You ready? Let's go. Okay, now, as y'all can see, Bermuda grass and looks like, uh, yeah, crabgrass lots of crabgrass okay and then over here we got some uh that thing right there that right there that's goosegrass i got a lot of that i've had a bunch of it uh this yard got let go and uh, it was a mess and so there's more goosegrass right there it's got to come out so we're gonna get rid of all the goose and bring it out this is the yard that i put the sandy loam and then planted it in some bermuda seed and you can see where I got Bermuda coming up. I got some weeds too, but I got Bermuda coming up. So let's see that. But yeah, look along here. I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I've been taking out. You see the plug right there where I plug them. So there's some right there that I took out and they're still laying on the ground right there. A few look, few of them out right there, you see? And this is, this is goose grass. And I bring it out in a plug like this and it gets all the roots and everything with it all together. And it sometimes gets a little bit of Bermuda with it, but yeah, so that's what we're doing. So we got to take them out. And there was so much of it, I've been trying to get it all out. And so let me take you a little tour of where it's been coming out. And, and if you walk along, you can see where I pulled them out. But you see the Bermuda is really good coming in. Like everywhere across here, we're gonna have a really good crop of Bermuda till we come to a piece of that stuff right there. We got to pull it out and get it out of there, okay? So we're gonna get all these piles up and then we got more of it in here we got to get out. But I'm getting the mature stuff out manually with my little picker stick I have. But yeah, the Bermuda is coming in. We're getting rid of the crap. We're gonna spray again as uh, soon as the rain stops. Right now I can't spray all this stuff because well, it just won't quit raining. So while it's raining, I'm pulling out these big chunky weeds. So y'all can see them there where I'm taking them out. And uh, the brown spots are where I killed them with the weed killer. But to be honest, the goose grass, it's easier to get it out if you just take a stick and just pull it out with the picker stick. Okay, I got my new weed stick come in the Amazon today. And the idea is we're gonna use it to take up, well, the weeds. You guys see that goose grass right there? That's one I sprayed. I'm gonna stick it in. Try to rotate it and bring it out. But see how it kind of broke up? See how it kind of broke up and part of it's still there? Well, that's that's the part that's a pain in the butt. Now here, here's one here that didn't get sprayed. See, now this one hasn't been sprayed. It's just goose grass, but it's kind of bright and ready to go. We'll plug into it to watch. I'm gonna rotate it. It's gonna come right out of our Bermuda grass. Gonna come up out of there. You know, it, it needs a nice clean spot with no goose, but no dead. So here's a live one. There's another live one right there. Nice live one, watch. You see all that Bermuda grass in around it, but you see the, the Bermuda can't get any sun because of all them big old leaves around it. So watch this. Now, that Bermuda is going to be able to get a lot more sunlight because all that's off the top of it. And we just take them out and I'm not sure exactly how I ended up with all this goose grass, but I can tell you this. It is no fun to get rid of. But watch. And we got a lot of that out. We'll finish cleaning that area out later. But it's just one at a time. We spin them out of there, get them out, and it leaves you good grass. So yeah, we're gonna be a lot of them to come out of there, folks a lot so anyway that's the way it works 
Got a lot of them to get out. Just gonna keep going. And as they come out, the yard gets better and better. As you can see by this part right through here is you know, when I get always cleaned off, you can see it. Anyway, there you go. Look at that. That's gonna get nice when it gets done. When it finishes out, it's gonna be beautiful. Okay, see that? We got a lot to do here. But we're getting it. Real beautiful emerald green on that. Look at this. Look at the color. I mean, yeah, I got a lot of dead bare spots and all this right now because I got stuff to still kill. Because this yard was a total disaster when I started working on it. But we're going to clear it up. We're going to bring it back. Hey, Spike the Frugal Fixer here. Yeah, I got my sprayer and the image out and the backpack on. And yeah, we're giving a fit. We're trying to kill some weeds. And so I'm still working on them. And I'm going to get them all out. And I'm going to bring them in. Okay. Let's go down there and cover the rest of this fence. I don't think I made this batch as, as dark as I made the last batch. Okay. Anyway, you can see where the line is. We're just going to keep going until we get it all covered up. So, I'm gone. Okay. It's Tuesday. Okay, I sprayed yesterday, and I got it sprayed in. And I put the green dye in it and uh, the surfactant. And uh, you can see where stuff's starting to, to croak. Over here, it's going in here. The Bermuda looks like it's holding up fine, which is what's supposed to happen. Bermuda's supposed to hold, and all that's supposed to die. So this is 24 hours, or 22 hours, I guess it would be. And uh, we got these are dying, but the, the Bermuda seems fine. Uh, definitely going here. know about this clover it looks awful awful healthy clover looks awful healthy yeah uh, this stuff here is kind of wilting over I'm thinking this might be gonna go the Bermuda under here looks good and green and uh, look at it over against the fence these are laid down to see if we know what's gonna happen in the next couple days and this is all new Bermuda right here you'll see it right there that's the new Bermuda and here's some more of my new Here's some more of it, and some more. And I put this in with seed, and just seeded it over this patch right here. Got a lot of weeds, but the weeds are going. And so you see, Bermuda's on the way here, starting to work. So we're gonna take a little quick look around a little bit more. You see here, the Bermuda's a little bit more here. It's a little bit more prominent. I've got some, uh, some weeds here that I gotta go but they're dying and they keep on going and see what they're going to do I'm fixing to bring the sprinkler out and put it on it's been 24 hours since I put the chemicals on and I'm supposed to put water on it within 24 hours that's what it said so I see where it's working but it said to give it water and it'll suck it down in the roots and finish killing it so we're going to just let the put the water to it and see what happens and Put the dye in and I could see it when I was putting it down but then uh, now I can't see it so I can some places but uh, this here looks like it's dying but the Bermuda under it right there looks like it's still real good and green I don't know what it looks like under here we we'll pull some of it up maybe over here you see the Bermuda here is nice and green and over here, got some weeds and Bermuda. We're still pulling it up and killing stuff. So we're gonna let this work, and uh, my Bermuda looks pretty good, except it needs water. Been pulling out weeds, lots of pulling out weeds. Y'all know about the pulling out. Now all these holes are where I pulled out weeds. And if there's a hole, there's a weed come out of that hole, and this is what they look like. Right here, okay. I see this barrel. Whole barrel full of them. Let's check it out. There you go. A whole barrel full of these. You see? A whole barrel full right there, right? Wait a minute. Uh, there's another barrel. That one's about, yeah, three, four, almost half full, over half full. And then if you look up here, 
I'm gonna take you on one more little walk, show you one more thing. But if you walk up here and look, there's another whole barrel full of them and a whole wagon full of them. So, three barrels and a wagon. that came out of this yard where the pool is. So, yeah, we're still getting weeds out and we're still working, but we're gonna see what it looks like in a few days. So you know, just stick with me, the pool's working. It's doing pretty good, it's nice and clean. So, but yeah, let me get a sprinkler started up. Okay, here we go. Quick one week since I started update on the backyard. So I started one week ago killing weeds and digging up weeds and stuff. So this is where we're at. So I'm going to take in a little show. Here we go. Okay. Well, we're looking back around here on the yard. Y'all can see where I plugged out all the junk I took out. And you can see where the other stuff's dying now like it's supposed to. I got a little stuff here that doesn't look too dead. I might not have sprayed over there close enough. We'll have to check that. It's about time to do a cut and uh, just knock dead stuff off the top of it. Cut it up nice and high. I'm not going to cut it low. But I'm going to bring the zero turn in and go over it and cut it and get it down. And uh, just throw some water at it and let it go. So yeah, that's the plan. All the old stuff that needs to die is dying off. So yeah, we'll see how it all works. Hope for the best. Yeah, that's right. Everybody, we'll keep an eye on it for a few more days. Hey guys, tell me what you do around this pool. Would you clear it out and put it back to rock, or would you let it go to Bermuda? I hadn't decided. I and mean, I can do either one, but I gotta get a new, yeah, a new row around there because that ain't working. Okay, let's let it go. And uh, we'll go from there.